fucking bomb. I'm giving Welcome you. Make local cars you guys need a great bomb. again. Well, the thing is, like, if you can steal an A class, right? Okay. Uh, and it is uh, it's as fast as an S class. It doesn't matter. Like, you will be more inclined to use civilian cars, right? But you still get the S class because it's like obviously it accelerates quicker or it has something you know better to it. But it's more of like a, a symbol as well. People don't necessarily buy the cars except for some races. Um, to min max, people buy them because they look cool and that's their favorite car and shit like that. You know what I mean? I didn't like actually. Like Mr. Key's so buggy. Yeah, those those are, those are like cool personal I, vehicles. I, I think. The dispensary has to do that. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna get it. But it helps with like uh, networking. Chases are a little more in, uh, a little more enjoyable for everybody involved. Uh, you know, you don't need 50 different types of cop cars or, or civ cars. Everybody's just sort of on an even uh, playing field. And then we then then when we do that, you know, make everybody uh, that has a whitelist they don't get paid yeah, extra for it essentially. It's better weed anyway. Maybe their business gives them bonuses. I don't know what, but. Um, not m money, you know what I mean? Maybe you get like a business car or some shit like that. Ugh. And you know, the more you work, uh, the better the car is. I don't know, so, something that doesn't like right feed now, them so cash to make know. them, you know, win every war and, you know, if they go to jail, they're not worried. You know, <clears> if, you're, if you're smoking a bomb, like habitually- But in saying that, you know, be, we you started know, like, out- those calming rings. It's kind of like, Every job, like uh, when I started, you know, you know like saying like our like, economy, like what we wanted was like, you know, I think it was two and a half thousand an hour is what you would make. And that was, uh, if you were doing drugs, you could do that uh, on top of it and then make like three or four K or something like that. But now it's like, you, you go sell drugs, you make four K in like fucking, you know, five minutes. It's fucking insane. And I mean, it's been like that for a while. I think everything just blew out drastically and it, uh, you know, accelerated everything as well. Yeah, passive money being removed could help as well. A Dodo run being 5k, yeah, shit like that's dumb. But in saying that, in this in this economy, it's not so, not so bad. <laughs> but I mean, you don't want to start a server off like that. Otherwise, you know, you got nothing to lose and nothing to worry about, really. You seen it fuck the 3.0 economy? Uh, no. Absolutely not. The, the casino drained more money from the economy than ever, any other source out there, so... That's, like, literally fucking two-head shit right there. That's just a simple, everything we've added, um... Uh, everything we've added just got, like, better and better, you know what I mean? Because you, if you add something new and it's just the same value, then people are like, eh, whatever, dude, it's sort of boring, but, you know, we add in gang sales and all that sort of shit, you, you need to, like, bump it up over time, otherwise, people just won't do it, you know what I mean? But I imagine, like, if we if we wiped everything now with the current gang system, I think things would get really spicy and actually be interesting. Because of, like, you know, turf meaning something and shit like that. You really do make money based on power rather than, you know, what business is your own and shit. Eyes on clown, sneak pit! Well, like I said, guys, the thing we're going for next is Red Dead, so... Red Dead could be cool, but it gets out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think it's going to be a... We're not trying to make it like a permanent thing, but just like a, a break so we can push out a GTA update that's like, you know, pretty solid. Get people interested. I don't expect it to last a year. Well, I mean, like, I, I think the server could last a year. I just don't think it will last a year on Twitch. That's all. It'll definitely be fun, though. There'll be so many memes to begin with. Oh, hi! It'll definitely be fun, though. There'll be so many memes to begin with. Oh, hi! The map size versus ways of travel Tony, doesn't... Alive? Listen, so the easiest fix for uh, making people run into each other on uh, Red Dead is this, okay? It's, it's pretty fucking mind-boggling, right? But when your horse runs off-road, its stamina drains 90% quicker. 
Oh my god! Now everyone's forced on the narrow paths and they run into each other. Holy shit, dude. Crazy. That's literally the first thing I did when I started modding Red Dead. And then you make uh, horses that can breathe that just go fast as fuck on roads. Easy. Easy peasy, dude. But the cool thing with it is, like, you'll be able to get horses that are bred for off-road as well. So they will drain at, like, 70% or something like that. So you could be, like, an outlaw and shit and still try to, you know... Dip. It, it, would, it would be beneficial for you to go off course when being chased and shit like that, you know what I mean? S-plus horses? Well, I mean, there will be. There will be S-plus horses. But not, not, not that sort of way. Just, like, they'll have stats for breeding, sort of like an arc. That's the goal. So, because there's a lot of depth to, like, breeding systems when animals are in games, where you can, like, you know, manipulate them and shit. Just imagine you could breed cars in this game, because that's essentially what it is. You know, you start at shit cars, and everybody has a chance to breed their, their, uh, cars up by making them fuck each other. That's essentially what the horse system will be, so. Yeah, the train, the train running as well would be good. But it's like, you know, I, f I feel like there's just common sense things you can add to a game like that to, uh, cr create interactions, uh, naturally. Like, you're not gonna come across somebody, you know, every, every two seconds, but it's gotta make you question when AI come past, is it a player, uh, or is it AI, you know, or is it bandits coming to rob me and shit like that? You know, it's not just gonna be the same old thing over and over again. But, uh, we also plan that as well, to have, like, uh, if you're traveling, uh, the, the fewer you, the fewer people you're traveling with, the higher chance of, like, AI outlaws coming to try to rob you and shit like that as well, so. There'll be little, like, mini events that we add in. Oh, mind. Raymond got shot in. Uh, but that's, that's like an example of how they could work. You know, you, you come across a stranger that gives you a quest or some shit like that. Yo, I lost this, you know, fucking necklace down here or whatever, can you go find it? So... It'll have like a RPG vibe to it, like like, like naturally, like the, the the world, the people in the world that are AI will also be like you know interactable, interactable and shit like that. <coughs> and then uh, we'll give the casino to CG, the jail to CG, the banks to CG, the PD to CG, and uh, the NPC forts to be. To, to raid. Um, I mean, we can add anything in we want when it comes to AI and shit like that, so. But I think the, you know, the, the, the a lot of focus will be on getting horses and shit like that. I really want to make ammos, like, somewhat scarce, though. So, like, uh, you know, if you've got 20 bullets, it's like, oh, shit, you know, I gotta make this last for a little bit type thing. So you don't just fucking run around shooting everything you see. Not that they're expensive, just time-consuming to get, unless, like, you know, people are, uh, grinding that shit or whatever, or, or there's a group farming it, whatever. I think we gotta have a meeting about it soon, actually, so. I got some, uh, I got some good ideas for it, but I also would still want to do a Ross server again. But, like, I, w I want to do the map, so. I don't know if I'll stream again this month. I don't really need to stream, I've already got my hours and shit. So, I only stream just so you guys know that I'm not dead. Um, but I... If it rains here, maybe I'll spend my rainy days making a, a rust map or some shit like that. And then we'll, uh... Wipe no pixel rust at some point and... Do a, do a serve for that. I think with if we do a fully custom map and, like, sort of game mode in a way for rust... I think it could be really cool. Not RP, by the way, just like... You know, we'll, we'll go full PvP. Uh, maybe, maybe even public, so you can, you know, we can, we can, uh, keep the server filled, <clears throat> and then just, like, wipe it X amount of times. Cool, it'll be in Rusted Up. The thing is, Rust is a very moddable game, and I don't think it's modded very much. Like, there's a few servers that are, but nothing that's, like, you know, like, kit servers. It's, like, cool, yeah, I get free shit, wow. <clears throat> but I feel like there's little manipulation of, like, you know, how maps can be laid out and, you know, how you can change the entire playstyle, really. Just retire, man? Hell yeah, dude. 
I don't know if um, the way my brain works is if I'm not like doing something that's somewhat constructive, uh, I feel like I'm, you know, wasting time. I guess. A BR event? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I think I think Squid Games will probably be the next event. Uh, and RDR will be the next, like, you know, change up, I guess. <laughs> oh. Would you make a save zone for the people who want to RP and Rust? Probably not. But that doesn't mean you. So you've got to remember, it's still mainly a no pixel community, uh, and we didn't have a safe zone. We never had a safe zone for people to RP. But the RPs were just sort of respected in a way because uh, it's it, it's a, it was a community server. You know what I mean? So people, you know, wouldn't really fuck with them that much. They'd. You know, if, if I killed them, I wouldn't loot them or whatever. Because uh, obviously you shoot first, ask questions later, but... You know. There was a time where uh, Saeed bombed... Oh no. No, it wasn't because of Saeed. Some, someone did something fucked up to Casino and 50 people raided them. The, the role players all raided them, so... I feel like the role players being one faction... While everybody else is limited to six or whatever makes it, makes it fair. Because, you know, 20 Papega role players are actually going to find it difficult to raid. Whereas, you know, six decent players will still put in work. So. Uh, 